Blessings and peace, dear ones. So we are in preparation. And today, I invite you to work again with the solar light that's rising. It's rising inside you. On the outside, it's moving towards the darkest time in the northern hemisphere, the brightest time in the southern hemisphere. But here we are talking about the inner light rising. That light that you seek inside. The light that is you, that is your higher self, that is your radiance. So today, we talk about the inner light that climbs. The climbing light of inner consciousness, forever climbing. So as you come into your body on this earth, you don't always remember all the details, but you have some instincts about your soul purpose. Some of your instincts are very simple. You want to love. You want to have plenty. You want to be happy. Have joy and peace and harmony. These are universal desires and every human being understands those desires and that I call the climbing light that is that is simple that is your instinct that is always rising that sun of hope that sun of positivity is always rising and climbing inside you and then sometimes you lose sight of it and that's why we're using the image uh, here of the light in the dark. The darkness is when that light, if you like, is, is overthrown, it's overturned, it's, it's hidden behind uh, emotion, fear, pain, loss, grief, anger. And so as we search for that light to shine even in the darkest of times, it is good to understand how to work with it, how to bring back the light and how to help it climb inside whatever it's doing on the outside. Whether it is solstice coming, whether there are very important political and economic and social affairs that you are involved with, what matters is that you know where the light is within you and you know where the dark is and you are able to shine your light into the dark places where all kinds of feelings and experiences may be hidden or forgotten or both. So breathing today and remembering that we are climbing through the centers and the last time we came together, we talked about the sun rising, coming in at the root and rising up inside your being. And that sun here represents the kundalini light, the power, the living power of your spirit rising up on the inside. Just as every day the sun rises, you can see it it comes over the horizon, passes right over you, and then sets on the opposite horizon. So just feeling that analogy of how the sun always rises in one part and sets in another. But here, your sun is rising and connecting all your centers together, going right up and coming back in a loop to again bring the light all the way down from the cosmic source into your body again. And so you as a human being, beloved, you have a light that enables you to remember your highest light, your, your divine light. But you have a light. It's a, it's a light of instinct. It's a light of deep knowing, deep wisdom that is within you and does rise in a very dark place, in the very bottom, 
in the lower center, in the root center. You have awareness there. You have wisdom and understanding that is beyond the mind. It is not really the same as the mental intelligence. It is a cosmic intelligence, a deep knowing, an instinct, an intuition. So when you open up that root center again, it's time you're bringing the sun, that solar light into your hara to sit there for a moment and to illuminate your sacral center, your hara, for that sun to expand in there in your mind's eye, let it really get big inside your second chakra. Breathe and enjoy illuminating this chakra. For whereas the sun or the light of your essence can come in through the root and rise up, here in the second center, it can expand and go into every nook and cranny of a huge storage chamber with many side chambers and many places where memories, experiences are stored. A place within you where you have stored those memories and some of them you have forgotten for different reasons. And so from this Hara, I want to connect you in your mind's eye to the Akashic records and to your guides and helpers, all of whom are able to come in through your Hara, though you might think they come in through the top centers, they come in through this sacral center. This is your psychic gateway. So as you open this gateway and flood it with the solar light, Feel how you are also opening the doors to the ascended beings who are the Akashic record keepers to feed light into Yohara through the web of light that connects you to all light, all life, all love, and to the divine source and to the Akashic records. So open that Center right up and feel yourself expand and just relax and feel how all the beams and threads of the web of life connect in to your sacral center. This is central station energetically for you to connect with beings of the astral planes and higher beings in the higher realms of light. And just breathe and call for that light to illuminate this vast and perhaps slightly dark storeroom as you explore it and expand your hara and the whole of the middle of your body. Breathing. Feeling in particular any fears you are holding. feeling any desires that are really strong at the present time, but particularly any frustrated desires, places of limitation, any feelings that you have of being blocked or stopped, hemmed in, disabled, and quite a lot of feelings that many may have in regards to your political, social, economic situation, both for yourself and the world, and just feeling all that is happening and feeling that solar light, powerful solar light, rising up and flooding the whole of your hara here with light that looks into all the corners and calls every part of you to the center. In your mind's eye, see a fire in the center of your belly, in the center of your being, in this vast space on the inner plane where you are a being of light. And right here in the center, 
a vast chamber of all your human experiences stored and those that are unresolved waiting for the light and for the love in order that pain, wounding, a negative emotion may be healed, integrated, dissolved within you. And feel yourself very full of this solar energy and in your heart and in your mind, offer this light to connect with the light all around the world that is emanating from the solar logos, from the sun, from within yourself, connecting up all the beings of light and all the beings upon the earth, radiating this light. And feel within yourself what visions you are bringing in with that light for yourself, for your life, as you clear that old energy. And feel this new sun coming in inside you, rising up with new hope, positivity. Feeling how you are gathering up everything you do not need anymore. Putting it in the fire, emotions that are traumatic. Disappointments. Pain and sadness, grief, bereavement. And above all, fear and anger. Remembering whatever the cause all of these negative emotions need to come into the fire and feel this fire. It has been lit by the sunlight. It is full of solar radiance, full of power, of transformation. Breathe deep and know that all energy follows thought. And when you intend to clear your body of heavy negative content, and when you call solar light in from the cosmic central sun, that is it. Your body, heart, and mind will follow your spiritual instruction. You simply have to give it. I open my heart. I open my being, I let go of old negativity. I let go into this fire, any content that is dragging me down, that is bringing fear into my body, heart and mind. I breathe in the solar light of my divine essence. Fill my body with the all-seeing solar light. I look within me and I hold dear all that I am. I see and love and appreciate All that I am. I am the living spirit present in this body, taking full responsibility for all my feelings, negative and positive, bringing out from the dark places, from the hidden places, all that does not serve me. While the light grows day by day and rises within me, I give thanks. I give thanks for this journey where the light of my spirit fills my mind, my heart, and my body with divine radiance. 
I give thanks for every day. Here upon the earth, as the radiance of divine presence guides me on my soul's path in my life. I am the living spirit. I am the divine light embodied here upon the earth. I open my hara to radiate the light deep inside me. And with my light and my love, I embrace all wounded and diminished and contracted parts of my being and hold them that they may dissolve and integrate. Blessings and peace. We give great thanks for that beautiful Hara Chakra meditation. Stay tuned next, moving up to the solar plexus as we build together, leading to the solstice for a mega solar logos activation. Do share this video far and wide on your socials. And if you haven't and you'd love to support us, do go over to our YouTube channel, Chung Fu channel, and hit the little subscribe button. And if you want to be notified of our uploads every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, then click the little notifications bell. And do go and like our Chung Fu channeling page. And to let you know, we have a Students of Chung Fu group on Facebook. Blessings and peace.